hello everyone uh, welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so this is the second part of our start takedown system that we are working on and today uh, so far what have what we have done is when we are near this character the other character this takedown notification will appear so that's the first first part and the next part I'm going to do is actual taking down okay so let's get started first I'll open my player character this one and this is where I detect the other character through the overlapping of this collider this box shapes shaped collider and here I show that notification and in order to take down first I need an animation so for that I'm gonna use this one a stable sword inward slash I'll download that one I have already downloaded it and imported it to my project right here under sword this one this is the animation and also I have created a montage from that animation like this so I'll play that first I need uh, to define input F for the takedown so I can do that here under project settings input and action mappings takedown I have defined it here the takedown action with the key F and uh, then I have to implement that event uh, or action in my player character which is right here takedown so when I play the takedown first I should I should not be able to do this action always I should be able to do this action only when there is a valid enemy in front of me which can be taken down so to do that I'll promote this other character as take down enemy and set it here and of course we have to check if the character is in a alert state or in a uh, not alert state and we should be able to take him down only if that character is in a not in not alert state but we will do deal with these those things later uh, for now I'll implement the basic takedown feature function so right I have set the takedown enemy here and here when I press the takedown action I'll check if I have a valid takedown anime character like this so if this is valid then before playing the animation for taking down I should make sure that I have equipped my sword or the weapon so I can do it simply like this I have already defined a variable to get sword equipped so this variable says is true if I have equipped the sword otherwise it is false if this is true I don't have to do anything if this is false I have to equip my sword like this toggle sword I do enter call interface call to myself right and I'll add a small delay to finish the uh, sword equip animation like this and then I can play any montage so for the montage I have to use that anim this animation montage I have created 
टेबल सॉर्ट इनवर्ट स्लैश एंड वेन आई प्ले दिस एनिमेशन आई हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट माई कैरेक्टर इज रोटेटेड इन टू द डिरेक्शन ऑफ द लॉक नॉट द लॉक द टेक डाउन एनिमी सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी इम्प्लीमेंटेड ए मैक्रो हियर टू रोटेट टू एक्ट दिस वन सो आई हैव टू डू द सेम थिंग right here as well so i'll copy this one and yeah copy this one into my player and i'll define a new actor a new macro rotate to actor and paste it here so i'll finish it like this this is the target actor and i don't i'll leave it like that and i'll connect this one to the output okay now i can use this macro right here i will do this do that here because uh, because whether or not my sword is equipped i have to rotate to my enemy my take down enemy so i can do it here without any issue and as for the input i should give this one uh, actually i am not going to explain in detail about is enemy and rotate to actor and everything because i have already explained them in previous videos if you have any problems you can refer to them or you can let me know in the comment section i am happy to help right now let's see what we have done so far I'll crouch otherwise my noise will be heard by the enemy and he will look at me so I should crouch and yes notification appeared and pressed F okay so did you notice some problem here when I press F before my sword equip animation is finished my attack animation plays like this so i can fix it right here instead of 0.3 i'll give it something like 0.6 no one second right okay so now we need to implement the actual getting hit part so how can we do that actually i can do this in an easier way so this is one of my attack animations that i have already used and here i have implemented this disable movement enable movement attack move and check hit so if i add these same notifications to my takedown animations animation which is this one then it will act same as uh, attack montage so that uh, it will automatically check for hits and damage the player the only thing i have to worry about is killing in one shot because normal attack animations they don't kill in one shot they only reduce uh, only do like one damage point so let's try that so just first i should disable movements right here because 
I don't need my character to move while he is performing move means walking while he is performing this uh, attack this takedown animation so at the end of the montage I'll enable movement like this and I should check hit somewhere here so I'll add the check hit notifier here and also I think I should add some swoosh sound notify play sound and for the sound I'll add swoosh this one right now I think it should uh, do the attacking let's check right so what the problem is it only reduced the uh, health bar only half and also I haven't implemented any any of the rotating to me for this AI character when he got attack so he only notifies me only when he see me or hear me so in this case none of them happens so that's why he don't care even if I hit him from the behind like this so when I move right here now he saw me and only then it registers me as an enemy so those are problems for another day so for now let's focus on stealth takedown right so how do we make sure that this guy dies when I play the takedown animation so that is something to do with the health reduction on the attack so in my check hit not check hit this on weapon hit event so this is where the damaging happens right here on update health this is the damage level and for the event check hit for on hit so this is basically one the default value is one the simplest way to deal with that problem is I can add here I have added only one check hit event so if I add a couple of them like this then it will do multiple check hits and do multiple damages so like this so in one shot he is dead let's try that again right so in the first shot he is dead all right so that's all for today in the next episode onwards let's work on uh, cases like if the character is already in the alert mode then how to deal with this takedown uh, for example i'll show it so when i am behind this character and it is okay for me to enable taking down but when it is like this it still show the takedown and if I can kill the character like this but that is not realistic it should appear only when the other character is in not alert mode so let's fix that problem in the next episode and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you are giving me also if you want to support my channel you can go to 
patreon.com till na prema siri and join my patreon club and there you can find some more stuff regarding the game development and the project files and also you can ask questions and anything all right see you in the next episode goodbye